Hi guys, how are you? Type A here, and today I want to to talk about the MLO offset command, and just want to show you guys some tricks that I use in my production. And there, maybe if you see the track from scratch videos, uh, maybe you you see me using the MLO as a command to to get these kind of like stabby sequences out of bad sounds or out of scene lines. And I, I think this is going to be like a cool video because the envelope offset command is one of these weird things that every dad has that if you don't if you don't show like a bit of concern and try to 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 look for a use to it, uh, maybe you ended up never using at all. Like uh, when I first started making stuff in Renoise, I didn't I didn't knew what what was that uh, this command uh, how it affects the sound so you, I was like trying to to build this and try to mess around with it copying randomizing trying to look for values that affect the, the sample somehow but uh, I was in the dark so it's real simple to use it but you need to to look for for it in the manual in other videos and kind of like trying to to comprehend what what it does to the sound so right now I have this bad sound that I made with serum sounds like this on its own a pretty boring bad sound but uh, if we go here to the modulation tab uh, we, you, can, you guys can see that I have an envelope going on here. So, unlike the the attack uh, hold the case external release envelope, this is the envelope that the envelope of offset command is going to affect. And what it's going to do is going to to read the the range of value that you set up in this envelope, uh, starting from uh, E00 to EFF. Uh, to read across the this value so first example in this case um, I just added a filter automation plus a bit of delay and river uh, kind of like post processing stuff to make the sound more interesting so if we go here again to this uh, first variation it sounds like this and you may notice that I'm not retrieving the sample each time I I put a E00 command on, on a line the envelope retriggers itself so you kinda kinda see now how this goes it, how it affects the sound so the, the sound is playing on its own like this and once I start using the envelope, so the command is going to, to get this click. Like th this is tab that's run through the that runs through the sound. Now um, this works pretty much like the, the sample trigger command. You can read uh, but instead of uh, sweeping through the sample, you're sweeping through the envelope that you set up. So in this other case, I made this sound. Now the envelope is going back and forth. I start reading through the through the through the end. Then it goes back to zero and then goes to the end again. And you can see that reflected here. I started messing around first uh, at uh, E zero FF. Then at uh, the 16th line it goes to zero, then it goes to, to FF again, and so on. And it's basically going up and down through the envelope. Now the third variation that I did was to select all of the sounds, uh, selection and click randomize. Now I get this type of sound, which I really like. And it is basically uh, triggering the 
the envelope in a, in a random fashion way. It's pretty pretty cool. With uh, I usually, usually get good results using using this this method of uh, triggering the the envelope in a random way. So uh, for a fourth variation and kind of like messing around with other parameters, uh, you guys might notice that, for instance, in this case, I'm triggering the the envelope. But if you turn this off, then it goes full volume. So it kind of serves. Uh, now we're getting like this uh, weird and uh, non-conventional modulation, like type of sound and if we turn this off it, it goes like like weird you get this suddenly uh, loud uh, volumes uh, out of the of the same sample and that's kind of what I'm trying to do here with the first sound I selected the range of the knob and it, and I run the message so it goes uh, on and off unpredictable Okay, and so for the the, the fifth variation that I did was to use the same stuff but with the sample trigger command. Uh, I'm triggering the envelope of send in random way and also the sample trigger command in a random way. So now if you look at the sample, it goes like this. It's triggering in every direction in every position in the sample. Just let me do this stuff. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool to, to have this sort of of movement in your sound. And once you've made this, and you have the the envelope triggering the, the sound and also the sample trigger command you can mess with the pitch of the sample and it go, it's going to stay in place like if I go here and I type 12 like 12 semitones now I, I get the same thing but uh, an octave higher I can go 24 semitones going to sound really cool I like this in 12 semitones and now for the final like a um, cool trick that I like to do when I'm doing sound design is to modulate the lines per beat value but usually with a with a MIDI now I record this uh, using my MIDI keyboard so you know, like it's testing for a line. You get this, you get this cascading like like arp uh, with the sound when you mess with the with the speed of the playback. And this is this is something that you can use not especially with the envelope or the sample trigger command but with any programmed beat or sound that you have in the patterns once you mess with this it's going to affect the whole uh, thing so I've tried this uh, when I set up the analog fold to trigger the repeater but with like a really tiny division so it's like glitching and making all this uh, we are artifacts in the sound and I and then I mess with the pitch and with a sample trigger to to read the sample in different positions and I, I automate this control to to get like this we are more even more weird artifacts the sound
So this is pretty cool and that's one of the many ways that you can use the the envelope offset command. You may notice here that we basically merely just messing around with the volume but you can insert an envelope offset command and in the panning the pitch if you want to mess around with the pitch or you can do more fancy stuff with the filters you can go here and try and create a shape for the filter cutoff and, and start messing around with it also you can combine this uh, cutoff envelope uh, this envelope also command with the other modulation devices available to kind of create this weird more complex change um, chains and right now we only have one sample but if we ever to have more samples like stuff ha uh, happening in the with drums or with different sounds and we want these all sorts of taps and clicky types of sounds coming in every direction you can do so uh, like uh, setting up different modulation chains and chain messing around with the volume the panning stuff like that also and I'm going to copy the sample to illustrate this like in here I want to assign another another of this just create a similar shape if we create a phrase and automating the same envelope offset command in different ways like here for instance in every quarter note uh, We're just basically creating an instrument that we can play with our keyboard and it will re-trigger itself in the in the position that we tell it, right? For instance, if I wanted this to happen in a random way, like with the other variation that I show you guys, selection and randomize, but let's make it like happen more often in the sound and randomize this again Uh, it goes for every other sample command if you place a retrigger like here trigger one well like this I'm gonna make like a goes like this and I kinda randomize it to it's not randomizing the stuff for any reason Okay, so let's make this four, three, two, one, four, five, five. You see how it, how it triggers the sound. Also, I'm, I'm messing with the envelope of the command. Yeah, we get all sorts of crazy sounds by messing around with the phrases and playing the, the sample in different octaves so it messes with the playback speed as well so 
that's it for this tutorial guys hope you find this useful leave your comments below and if you want to see any other tutorial just uh, text me you know leave a comment make a request something like that peace hope you like this i'm going to put this every night spray file about available for download so good evening